Hey everybody, it's Renee Signs. Um, we're at the big, big moment here. Where uh, last night I uh, I went ahead and uh, got all the bulkheads glued in, got everything set up to where I could glue the the two halves, uh, fuselage halves together. So um, this has been curing out now since last night. Uh, it's about I don't know, almost uh, almost a day later. Almost 24 hours later, so it's, this this resin's had plenty of time to cure out so, uh, the high saw that I use. So uh, let's go ahead and pop this open. I've been wasting more time. I've been waiting all day for this. Couple of areas I'm concerned about. So what I ended up doing, uh, you know, I was going to do the carbon toe and you know, run a bead all around the edge. Um, but there were some areas that were lifting up already on, on the edges. So I, um, you know, I didn't trust doing it the other way. Worried about the uh, resin seeping through and uh, getting all over the finish uh, and ruining all the surface details. So I went ahead and made some uh, uh, ledges from uh, balsa stock um, to create a little bit of a lip uh, for the high saw. I ended up using high saw. Uh, 120 minute here. Slow cure, high strength, uh, and I glued most of the, some of the edges that weren't supported by bulkheads. I think the bulkheads would help uh, support that part of the fuse. I didn't want to uh, do the whole the whole edge, because um, I'd like to come in later with some glass cloth. Do the seam. So do that for the majority of the of the seam. So I did get some. Uh, the area back here is wide open. So I had a good I don't know, ten inches uh, access to where the first bulkhead was, where I could actually put some carbon and some uh, fiberglass tape. Uh, top end box. So the back should come off okay. And there's also the the vertical fin. I'm a little worried about the uh, foam didn't suck down as much as I would have liked it. So I'm worried about having some voids in that area. Uh, but I didn't feel. Bad enough to uh, warrant laying up all of the few. They don't want to throw the that whole side away. Uh, this is a prototype, so I'm guessing this comes out alright. So I'll lay up and on right away. The uh, there were some areas of the, of the foam that I did end up kind of scraping out and. Because I could, I could feel the void, so I think I got most of the areas that didn't suck in well. Pull those out. Uh, added some, some resin, that's going to be a little heavier than I wanted, but it's okay. I want to prove this thing flies. Uh, uh, if I can get this one to fly, then I know I can, I can lay up a good one. And it go well. So this center section comes out, but I think I might try and pop that off too. I wasn't trying to see if I could just all the this half just all in one piece, but I think. Just because of this, uh, 
this turned down, I'm gonna make it as easy as possible for this to come out. Man, I'm losing hardware here. I ended up staying up way too late. And I got started getting excited. Uh, I could tell I was getting close and getting a lot done, so. I need a chisel to get to. I didn't have any um, spots where I had any wedges, little spots where I could put my wedges in, so I need to. Uh Okay, I see. <laughs> yeah, I can see part of it. Hear that? It's the bottom of the fuse. Exciting stuff. Can't tell you how handy it is to have these little, uh, I got these little pockets where I can slide a wedge in part way. Uh, makes, makes this a whole lot easier. I got when I was laying out the molds on one side uh, I put down a I cut up a plastic spreader and lay it up with with the molds so that Crack. 
this is the area that I know has you know, glass tape on the top and bottom, so I'm not worried about pulling on it as much as I am more the center and, and the front that's supported just with that, that glue. I've got bulkheads in the middle. That was a good, that was a good pop there. Um, I've taken off some pressure uh, by getting the center section uh, out. Yes. Twisting this a little bit just to work it loose. But this table is not the most stable either. Yeah, that looks really good. Gosh, I hope this comes out. <laughs> Took some, took a little bit of wiggling and pulling and tugging and praying, but uh, it came out. Uh, 
thing doesn't weigh very much either, considering all the extra glue I had to use and all that. Uh, there you go. One fuselage. Uh, done. And uh, it's pretty. Very pretty. Um, I do need to fix this this seam. That's okay. Uh, I can do that. I can reach that from uh, from probably this hatch or even the gear door. Uh, uh, I did these uh, did these hatches where uh, I didn't have such a big flat spot. So I figured that would be harder to pull out. Uh, but, um, but yeah, this uh, I didn't put I put balsa here. Actually, barely, barely got to the rim. Uh, uh, I need to do some filling and sanding here anyway. Um, didn't put balsa here, so this is what I got to fix. Um, that could be a lot better. Uh, another. This is the big worry spot here, and this all came out solid. Uh, I was worried about just doing this and having it collapse. Uh, so I got I got plenty plenty in there, uh, and uh, you can see uh, at this area wide open so I was able to add some some glass and uh, carbon. Alright, it's time to build an airplane. Uh, it's not perfect but it uh, could have been a whole lot worse. Uh, so I'm happy with what I got. Uh, I'll definitely lay up another one. Uh, get it to come out better, so I'm not worried about that. Um, so until next time, stay tuned. Got a fuse.